Hi all and welcome to another video. In this video I will showcase the performance of the fastest spinning 122mm fans from Arctic, the Arctic P12s Max and if they provide a big improvement over the stock fans of the Thermalright Phantom Spirit 120SC version. So let's see the extra cooling capacity on a 7800X3D chip. As you can be seen here, there is not much difference between the P12 and the P12 Max when it comes to blade design. The P12 Max has a ring at the top of the blades to prevent it from expanding at high RPMs with time. Also, the P12 Max comes with vibration dampening installed by default. When looking at the technical specs of the P12 Max, the fan speed should top out at 3300 RPM. This puts it on par with the other high speed 120mm fans like the Fantex T30, the Starlight Wings 4 Pro, the Cooler Master Mobius OC or the Nocto Industrial version, to name a few. With the airflow being a bit over 81 CFM and the static pressure at 4.35, this fan should be a beast when it comes to cooling. It has almost double the static pressure and around 45% more airflow than the normal P12. Now let's check the speed of all my units. These have a max speed of a bit above 3050 with a 100 RPM variation reaching almost 3200 RPM. At least this is what fan control is reporting. So we are close to that 5% speed variation that Arctic specifies in the tech sheet. The default fans that come with the Phantom Spirit SE have a top speed of 1500 RPM with a max airflow of 66.17 CFM and a static pressure of 1.53. Compared to the P12 Max, these have a bit more than 20% less airflow and 2.8 times less static pressure, at least on paper. These fans spin close to the 1500 RPM speed advertised by Telmarite. Fan control reports a speed between 1450 and 1500 RPM. Next, let's have a look at the Cinebench run to see how these fans perform under stress test. This is one run of a bunch using the P12 Max fans. I have set a custom fan curve that makes the fans spin at 100% when the CPU hits a temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. The ambient temperature is set using the AC at 23.5. I will calculate the average temperatures and take the max value encountered in all runs and report that. In the current run, the P12 Max managed to keep the average temperature of the 7800 X3D CPU under 80 for the full multicolor test run. The same testing methodology was used for the Phantom Spirit SC stock fans. What I forgot to mention is that between each Cinebench run I let the system in either with the fans running at 100% for 20 minutes. This will give ample time for the system to cool. In the current run, the stock fan managed an average temperature of 80.7 with the max just shy of 82 degrees at 81.9. Now, looking at the averages from all the runs, the P12 Max outperformed the stock cooler on average by 1 degree Celsius. The P12 Max averages at 79.7 while the stock cooler at 87.7 .7, with both having a max temperature below 82 degrees. Let's measure the performance of these fans in 3D Mark. In one of these runs, the CPU hit a maximum temperature of 75.1 degrees Celsius using the P12 Max with a custom fan curve. Moving on to a run using the stock fans of the cooler, the max temperatures observed managed to reach a value close to 76.4 degrees Celsius. When taking the values from all the runs, the P12 Max outperforms again with an average temperature of 61.5 compared to the 63. 3.1 value of the stock fans, while the max temperature was around 75.1 compared to the 76.7 degrees Celsius for the stock fans. I did check the famous Nocto NF-A12X25 chroma fans that so many reviewers rave about it, but I was not impressed. Sure, the package looks nice and it comes with great accessories, but two of these cost more than the Thermalite cooler. When checking the results of a test run in Cinebench, the Noctuas managed to keep the CPU average temperature at around 81 degrees with a max temperature of 83. I didn't add this to the overall results as this performed worse than the stock fans even though my units were spinning close to 2100 RPM. Now, when it comes to air cooling, it is important to have proper intake fans in order to fit cooler air to the case. The more air that is brought from outside into the case, the better will the air cooler perform. Now, 
just have a look at how the temperature drops when just increasing the speed of the 240mm intake fans. The temperature will drop to a certain value and stay there. This is why it's important to have well performing intake fans for air coolers and for high speed fans, high performance intake fans will bring better results. So. When defining the fan curves for the entire PC, it's good to do some proper testing and find the best balance between performance and noise for you. Noise, at least to me, is very important and this is why I returned the Noctuas as I didn't find the sound profile pleasing at 100%. I use 100% speed so that the CPU will not throttle in any scenario. The issue is high performance fans are very loud at 100% speed. I kept the P12 Max at 85% when using on a daily basis as I found that the sound profile was not bothering me. But the sound profile of the P12 Max may not suit everyone, so there are other high speed fans that could be a better option when it comes to sound. I think when picking up a high speed fan, it's best to try them out and see if they do a better job than the stock fans and the sound profile is pleasing as all high speed fans are really loud. But all high speed fans will not cool a PC case that is not well ventilated. Most if not all fans that I saw reviewed online are on an open bench. This helps a lot more the high speed fans to differentiate from the lower speed fans as this can brute force their way to the top of the charts. I think that most new release fans perform quite good but this must be checked to see for what are they the most appropriate usage, meaning case fans, CPU fans or radiator fans. When it comes to the Arctic P12 Max, these fans performed very good but didn't convince me to swap the stock fans. I used the P12 Max for 2 weeks and they started to be a bit louder at lower RPMs. After 2 weeks I started hearing them spinning even at 40% and I saw posts from the different users saying something similar. For the price, these are exceptional fans, but be sure to purchase them from a shop that has good return policies. When compared to the normal P12, these outperform them. The price is not that far apart, so you could choose to buy these and run them at lower speeds. If you found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel as it will help me a lot. Take care and hope to see you in the next one.